Hey guys, so hopefully you saw the last um, one of these videos in the series. I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have this clip for the first, or for the second clip, for the second video and the third video, so yeah. It's gonna be three separate videos because it came out to 39 minutes, so hope you enjoy this video. Yeah. Okay, so I just got the rocks out of the bigger aquarium. I mean, the, not the bigger aquarium. I just got the rocks out of the 10 gallon. And now I will be, if you wondered why I even put them back in the 10 gallon in the first place, it's because they have moss on them. And I like moss for this tank. I'm planning on having moss and that's just how it's gonna kind of be. Um, or algae or whatever on the rocks. So now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to do escape, but again, I'm gonna time lapse it because I wasn't going to. And if I don't do it, then it's gonna take forever. So my plan is having escape like the rocks start here and then kind of build up to here. And I'm planning on having a big rock sitting right here. Um, and then the plan with the plants is to have them stretch out over the water. And yeah, I use tape for the, uh, to keep them there. And that really made it so you could see all the roots and that's really what I wanted. So, uh, yep. Sorry, I'm kind of confused because I just filmed something and I'm not sure how much I said or what I didn't say. Um, so, uh, yeah. Like, I'm not going to put it in the video because it was way too long. It was like five minutes long. So now I'm going to uh, do another time lapse. Okay, that took forever, okay? So this, pro this video probably has so many clips, but this is what I came up with. So right now the fish are in there with nothing, um, except the, the water plants. And this is what I came up with. So I kind of rethought the design and I thought, I don't want it to go all the way up to up there, like that high. So I thought this was pretty cool. It kind of steps up and then it's all around the filter. Like if you look up this way, it almost makes a circle around the filter. Then I put that log there because the light's going to be coming from this direction and there might be moss growing on the log. That'd be super cool. The one part that I really don't like is this right here. There's like a hole right there. That's pretty annoying. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be super cool. And right now, so this is going to be super easy. So I have a bucket full of rocks and that's a clean bucket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take as much water as I can out of there put it in with the rocks, then move that tank right here probably. Then I'll pick this tank up because I still can surprisingly even though that, that dirt's really heavy. And then put it up there and then put the rocks in, then put the fish in and then I'll be done. So uh, um, yeah, I'll probably update you once I move the fish tank. Stupid cord. Okay. Let's see. Why is it like that? It's like pulling on it super hard. Oh, I think I might know why. Okay, anyway. There we go. Perfect drink. There. Okay, how does that look? Yeah, I told Jay you wouldn't have to be looking on this side anymore. All the... Oh, that looks awesome. By the way, this is extremely exper experimental with the, uh... How the, uh... Um, here, give me a second. I'm trying to... Even know how the, the stuff is. Because it says for not for aquarium use. And, again, I've seen it. The king of DIY said that it would be fine, basically. And then, um, I mean, it's all purpose, so, you know, but, um, 
Yeah, I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it'll be just fine. So I made sure all the plants are basically will be fine when I put the top on because I still need to put the top on so the fish don't jump out. So now I'm going to add the water, um, which is all pretty much in a bucket. I'm going to, I'm trying to keep as much water as I can from the original aquarium in there. So now I'm going to add the rocks and stuff, which last time I showed you and I remember it and uh, it was loud. So this time I'm not going to show you. Okay, so it's actually a few hours later now, I'm pretty sure. What ended up happening is I moved the tank, and I think you just saw that. And I, um, let's see. So I put the rocks in, and it just totally, like, covered all the scape. So I had to take the scape completely out. Then I had to redo it, and now I have to wait for the water to clear. And again, I'm getting a gravel vacuum, and I won't have to deal with this anymore. But, um, yeah, so this is what the tank's gonna look like now, as you can see. I think it's gonna look awesome. Um, it's gonna be super easy to clean that wall, and, uh, I'll, I'll probably start cleaning the back wall, I don't, I'm not sure. But it'll be super, like, that wall will be completely clear, this wall will be clear, it'll be great. And with the gravel vacuum, there won't be all that mom. Um, and with all the new gravel, like, you, uh you really probably won't see as much moss, which I I, 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 don't, I really don't have an opinion of at this point. I don't really care. Like, it doesn't really bother me in this tank. In this tank, I hate the the little bit of um, stuff, but I'm also gonna be redoing that a little bit. So, yeah, you can kind of see the roots back there. I think that's gonna be super cool. So now I think I'll just add the fish in and then just wait for the, um, uh, for it to clear up and then I'll show you guys it once more. Okay, so there's a bit of water, um, it, there's a bit of difference in temperature, but I think it'll be fine because it's not like crazy and they're pretty, they're not like small, they're not like tetros or something small like that. Um, I think they'll be fine because, I mean, yesterday I did a water change and pretty much all their water changed and they were fine. So now I'll just try to get on. It's going to be pretty hard because there's a black bottom to this tank that they're in. I'm going to try to get the uh, uh, darters first. Okay, I have the big darter. Oh, I just planted the plants on the inside. So let's see. There's that. Looks like hasn't really done anything. Um, so it'll be real easy to water the dirt part of the tank because I'll just like take a scoop from um, you know the tank and put it in there, and that and it'll be really um, like rich water and good to water them with because how much poop and stuff there'll be in it. Well, like it's just yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure. I have one of the smaller minnows. I think it's the smaller blunt nose minnow. Let's see. Yep, it is. There it goes. It's pretty cool. It'll probably go figure out where to hide. It's one of the hiding ones. Okay, so now I'm just going to see what I can get. Okay, I just got the other smaller minnow that, I don't know, it almost looks like a baby bass, but I don't think it is. It's about the same size as the smaller blunt nose minnow. And I think I also got one of the snail shell things. There's that. So now I'm going to go for either the bluegill, the smaller darter here. I'm going to try to go for the smaller darter now. And, ah, I didn't only get the smaller dot. Well, shoot, I'm not sure if I got the smaller dot right here. Here, give me a second. Okay, so I got the big blunt nose minnow. Go on. There it goes. It'll go and hide. It's definitely a hider. Okay, so now I gotta find the smaller darter now. Okay, here we go. Let's 
smallest fish. Um, and it has the mouth thing. If, maybe I'll try to get a shot of that. I don't know, I'll probably forget. It'll, it'll probably go and hide. Um, but its mouth, something, it's like a deformity, or maybe it got bitten once, and its mouth is stuck open constantly, which is really interesting. Um, now here's the big one, the bluegill, which will be much harder to catch. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ah. Let's hope it gets out of the net just fine. It does have the uh, things on the back here. Ah. I don't think. There it goes. Bluegill do have those spikes on the back, and it got stuck on the um, thing for a second. So now all that's left is some snail shells, and I think all three giant sna or bigger snails are dead at this point, but I'll put their shells in here, because why not? Um, there's like tons of dead snail shell um, stuff. So now all the fish should be good. Um, I'll watch them and stuff. It's kind of hard because, um, they're obviously, it's still really murky, as you can see, but once it clears up, it'll look crystal, like, I don't know, it always seems like whenever you redo a tank, there's always that little bit of murkiness, and then it'll eventually go away. So, yeah, I don't know if there'll be another update from here, though, probably will, if that other smaller darter comes out, and a little bit later in the day. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm actually gonna finish the video here. It's not totally cleared out, or cleared, um, but I gotta make some other videos, and I wanna be able to make this video first, if that makes sense, like, put all the clips together. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put it in the comments below, and if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a good day.